What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and it's not just any video of the London Bulldogs Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. It is the video of the London Bulldogs Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. And in today's episode of the London Bulldogs fan... <laughs> it's week 17! <laughs> going up against the Cardinals, of course. I think if we win this game... I don't even think... I, well, I don't often. Sometimes I forget to. Uh, we are going to win and be in, but winning and being in is not a guarantee, especially when going against a very good team yet again. We probably should have lost last week, and I thought we were going to. They had a huge lead, and they kind of choked it. They kind of choked it. Your mother knows all about that, and so do the Falcons. As far as... Okay, I didn't see us. For a second, I didn't see us. We're the fifth seed, but by how much? Let's take a look. Oops, that's the wrong one. But let's take a look at who... Is above us who is behind us we've already seen that but like how much of course is what we're looking at so the bulldogs at eight and seven but then you see what would likely be yeah likely be six and seven is right there i don't know the qualifications because i'm pretty sure when it's not inner division it goes by head-to-head -head matchups and then similar games so like that could be like anything you know we'd have to look through every single game see who we played see who they played and you know i think it goes a conference and there's so many different things so if we lose, there's a very, you know, there's a decent chance we could actually miss. But looking at these numbers, the Colts are not the win. The Chargers are not the win. The Ravens, Chiefs, and Broncos, one of those would probably have to win. And then it would have to go down to some weird, crazy tiebreaker weirdness. I don't even know, but it looks good. It's obviously, if we win, we're automatically in it. Uh, weekly awards, Johnny Manziel wins the award for best player of the week on the AFC side. How many did we win this year? One, two, three, four. What else? Four, five, five awards. I mean, that's not bad. Okay, which are one bit. <laughs> the heck out of here. Appreciate it, it's on Lambo Lambo. <laughs> of course, looking at the roster, this is what it looks like. We didn't do the training yet, so we could have some upgrades for this final game. Jonathan Manziel at the starting quarterback position. A.J. Dillon at the number one running back spot. Calvin, Chad, Colin. There's like all the Johnsons in the world. Absolute sausage vest. Devontae Bush, normal development rate. Decently. Wait, 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 wait a minute. One second. What? That's how slow he is? I was under the impression that he's literally Tyreek Hill's son. I guess not. Looking at the cornerbacks. Revis at two. Tell at three. Of course, I mean, the guys haven't played poorly, right? Like, Marvell Tell has actually had a really good season, even though he's, like, 12 speed. And Holton Hill, he's locked down for the most part. Revis has been, I mean, he's been a weird one. Definitely been a weird one. Will Fork, Patrick, Kirkpatrick, and Bush. What else do we have? Linebackers looking pretty decent. Duvall, Cam Chancellor. So, looking a little rough. Looking a little rough. Ain't, ain't gonna lie. But we can do things the way we have and win it all. All right, so we have some upgrades. Frank Lou, well, Frankie, let's be honest. How many people actually call? Like, I don't know where he's playing right now. I thought he was a Seahawram Dolphin. I don't know, but let's be honest. How many people are calling him Frankie Louvu? Like, they're going to call him Frank, right? Probably. I swear this man, wait, has it not been like back-to-back -back upgrades where he has not went up in overall? Earl Gilchrist, even though I'm pretty sure it's Gilchrist, but I was told it's Gilchrist. I don't know if it's true. I don't... I really should look it up. I just don't... I, is he even, like, for one, is he a real player? I, th I don't know, to be fair. I'm not even going to say I think he is. And two, is he known enough to actually, like, find that information out? Because I really don't know if that's true. Devin White is the best run-stopping QB in the league. <laughs> is that just, like, a selfish quarterback for passing, I guess? <laughs> of course, in the final week... In a rain game, back-to-back -back weeks, if I'm not mistaken. The Cardinals, for the special occasion, they probably don't really need the win that much. I mean, I would assume it's it's going to be a, a game that will, you know, put them in a higher seating or at least hold a certain seating. But, you know, they're still having fun with the uniform selection. I like it. You know, I like a little bit of fun here and there. Your ma knows that well. Oh. Let's call their hoe on top, and that's what that was. Uh, but a rainy one... Dylan is healthy. We forgot to check that, but, you know, we don't really need to check it. Let's be honest. Dylan ain't going to be out for more than a game anyways. Parham, the guy who's had an absolutely insane season. Uh, three touchdowns, uh, almost 200 yards receiving in 10 receptions. He's going to go to X-Factor 
after being a normal the start of the season, absolutely insane glow up as the kids call it, of course. And really the only thing that matters, not stats, none of that, just win, dude, just win. That's all that matters. Just win the freaking game as the Colts could not, were they, they must've been one of the teams that were right there. So I think that already puts us in a really good spot because once again, I'm pretty sure we need three teams to lose to be automatically in it, win or lose. And I think that was obviously one of them, so. Okay, fair enough. We're in a good spot. We, we, we got a feeling. That's okay. EA Sports. It's not in the game. Got him. 37 touchdowns, 13 picks, 4,100 yards. That could be an MVP year as I would assume he'll probably get a few this game. He could get to 40 touchdowns. As long as he doesn't throw like seven interceptions, they should be good. And is that Lev Bell in the backfield? He's not the same kind of fear that he would used to draw. But it's still a guy that, you know, I'm not super happy to play him, but... Not as bad a, of a situation here as it would have been years ago. And I thought he was going to slip away. Not bad a defense by Marvell on the blitz press, man press situation. All right, or Bucks to the outside, and Marvell gets beat again. Once again, he's not far off, and considering the speed and whatnot, it's not terrible. And he's supposed to be the number three corner so why has he been playing oh i guess there's three right there isn't there <laughs> we have the answer right in front of us and what a throw by russell this may be a payback game you may have heard the uh the broadcast from last week talking about him and watson don't really play super well it may maybe we set ourselves up for a very bad loss here i'm just you know i'm no expert of things but I'd be pretty mad if I was him because we basically just called him a non-threat and they blew that whistle early as Bell could have gained an extra two. Instead, they're going to mark him down right at the line of scrimmage. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for the early call. Second and 10 from the 19-yard line. Slant. It's going to be a late slant. I mean, come on, somebody get there. Cam, Cam just got turned around. What is he doing? Good job by Duval on the play. It's going to be a one-yard rush instead of a sack. By Cam Newton, a guy, uh, Cam Newton, Cam Chancellor, a guy that would have loved, um, I don't know if he would have loved to get revenge on Wilson. I don't know if there's really a revenge story there, but I guess it's kind of fun to get a sack on as many quarterbacks as possible. Tell all of the plays you got burned on would have meant nothing if you would have just picked that. Nobody would even remember the other ones. That's a bit of a yikes for me, dog. I'm just going to be honest. That should have been a pick. Russell just sold the freaking company store. And you just did not even make a bid on it. Jesus. All right, let's look at the stats. We had a little bit of a glimpse early, but I don't know if it's even in the video. But this is the stat line for Johnny Manziel. Not bad. I can't even remember how many games he played. Like, King played way more games than I thought he did this year. He played, like, I think seven. To be fair, I don't know if it goes by games started or games played. If it's games played, to be fair, we did have guys coming in for players for, like, a quarter or two because of you know, bad playing early in a game or whatnot. I mean, January, sure, I guess. <laughs> but what are you talking about? I have been. I live in Wisconsin. It literally is raining as we speak. I literally tweeted about it. We, we should have taken something shorter. And what a throw. Johnny Manziel wants it. He just wants it more than the other guy. He just does. To the left side, Bush. Oh, that is just terrible. Is that Sewell? Yikes. In 2.5 seconds. Like, do you even realize how crazy that sounds? Dylan, look at the blocking. Dylan slipping off, running over a guy all the way to the 18-yard line. 38 yards for the big train. That's like literally more than half of what he had last game. You know, that sounds weird to say more than half. I don't know. <laughs> uh, to the left side, Dylan. And, okay, this time the blocks weren't as great, but he still gained about four. Nice little run. Bush to the outside. They do have a superstar over there. We should definitely take a look at that roster. <laughs> might be uh, might be important information. I'm just going to take... Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You ran all the way to the right side of the field, threw across your body for... I mean, it wasn't much more, but more yards than that, and you missed that one, standing still. And now I'm going to be honest with that one. That's Parham. I don't know what the hell he's doing there. He literally ran away. Gilchrist to the 24. That's rude, but maybe. Oh, look at Tell. He's played, once again, if he would have had that pick, no one remembers those catches you gave up. Like, they scored a field goal because of the catches you made up. You missed. And because of the drop pick. 
the coverage, anyways. That's the one we're looking for. Le'Veon Bell, yeah, I mean, that. if that's old Lev Bell, he gets that. Instead, it's the new, quote-unquote new, because it's old Le'Veon Bell, and he's going to be short. So we will, unless they fake it, get the ball back from Mr. Fox here on the punt. Slip! <laughs> I, do you think people do that in real life? They yell slip or something and it's like, oh, Jesus! Somebody, I thought that was the coach. Damn. Kinda. Dylan! Oh, man, that is a slow truck. Yeah, we'll wait. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I said, yeah, we'll wait. I definitely meant we are not gonna wait because who's it, Calvin over the middle? Yeah, no point. No, no point in throwing to him when you have par on that open who now apparently... Now, this could be rumors. I don't know if it's true. Is that 1,500 yards? This guy's absolutely insane. What's the highest for yards? In a, actually, it might have been broken by Kelsey this year. Bush, and that's obviously picked. I just wanted to get it to someone new. I was like, you know what? They're going to cover Parham, right? Clearly, they're not going to, you know, they're going to cover Parham. There's two guys there. They're going to leave Bush open because he never gets the ball. No, Parham's open perfectly again, and we force it to a guy that's not, and we turn the ball over. Rustler 99 overall, Wilson. Love it. Le'Veon Old Bell. Tyler Boyd. We're playing some uh, kind of... I guess they're not really that slow. Isabella, Sims, Crowder. They're all kind of short, though, outside of Boyd, obviously. Tight end Greg Olson. Jeez, that's an old man. Still kind of fast. So Tunsil. Yo, this is a good old line. Obviously, the guard's position's not great, but... You know, really, you just get a new right guard, and you're kind of sick because Hennessy's young. Left end, no... Ooh, Williams, that's a tough guy to go against. Reader and Thomas, is they, they're going to stop the run well, even though it didn't really seem like that early on. Interesting team. They got some stacked positions. The positions that matter the most, they are pretty stacked at them. So you can see why this team is you know, potentially a 12-win team. Eh, I mean, I don't know if they get a worthy quarterback, but there are, like, what, four names up there? Oh, there's no one on the running back. And, I mean, when you get that much time to throw, anyone's going to find them. And it is Ricard. I, I watched the, the Ravens game a bit, and it is Patrick Ricard. I freaking knew it. All these years of trying to figure it out, I figured it out. Unless the announcer was saying it wrong. Oh, crap, I don't know anymore. <laughs> who, who knows? It's got to be a Kirkpatrick day. It really does, and I swear he was out early. Like, you lose the down technically because obviously it, it's ineligible, but I don't think you lose anything special for it, right? Over the middle? Throws it wide to the outside. I mean, there's just nowhere you can go anyways. But yeah, they got to start making the rules tougher on offense. You illegally touch the ball, that's a 10, 15 yard penalty. You know, offensive pass interference, 15, 20. But then now we want scoring because people watch for scoring. Oh my Lord, Gilchrist. Just put the fear of Christ into him. Gilchrist into him, you know? When he hits him, when he hits him hard and makes him cry, he's Gilchrist. When he's regular, he's just Gilchrist. Guess who? The ground, because they they swatted it. Yikes, man! I can tell the way this is going. I think the only way we're going to uh, we're gonna win this game is if uh, the people watching this YouTube video right now like and subscribe, follow on Twitter, Drunk Care, second channel of Care plays, Twitch.tv slash Drunk Care. That's what I get. I deserve that. I honestly deserve that. I literally deserve that. They came at us hard. And once again, every time I doubt Parham because I'm like, oh, they're gonna cover him. I just got—he's got to be my number one read. He, he just has to. He really has to. Get in there. Get. Oh, big hit. If we score three, that might not have been a score ever, right? Obviously, this game's not gonna end this way, but I don't think a game's ever finished six to five. That—that's just a guess of mine. Field goal, touchdown, two point, and then this their score. A 5-11 to 11 score line. That would have definitely never happened. Bell, he tried, but Will Fork said not today, and he just kept on pushing. I'm going to not bring the blitz. Parsons, you got to do it. Damn it, Parsons. Oh, no. This is the Marvell effect. And what is he doing? Like uh, You dive like a maniac. Get your hand around his leg. Literally all the people that ask me, is next gen worth it? If you're talking about Madden, this is your answer. Th this is your answer right here. This is the answer to your question. Man, well, not out with, but like opted out because of... I guess it's Dylan time. Well, it's nobody's time. It's the ground again. Damn it. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. Brickley. There's nobody getting open, by the way. We got to get back to fundamentals. 
we, after this failed drive, of course, back to fundamentals, run the ball up the middle hard as you can with Dylan, and then and pass it really short, like two yards. Charles, get out there. Not a bad little screen, but it's not great. We gain about seven. Get, get it, Duvall. Where was this when he had a scenario? Damn. What does the backspin even do? Like, how do, what does that do? I thought backspin makes it shorter, no? Like, it makes it where the ball punts back to you. Right? That's the one. Oh, no! That could have been a touchdown. We got caught watching all the routes rather than our own, man. I was worried that somebody else was going to get open because I thought Bell was going to sit down and he just accelerated out of there. Normally, they don't run through the middle and then continue. They usually kind of just sit... Robinson gets pushed hard, but he kind of runs back into him. Still Kane's like five. This doesn't look good. I'm just going to be honest. All right, Gilchrist. Oh, come on, fellas. Oh, no. Good tackle by uh, Kamal Martin there. But to the 17, Cardinals are rolling. And this main factor is just due to the fact that we will get zero seconds of pressure. Zero. Zero. It's really going to come down to a turnover. It really is. Which we just aren't going to get. We just won't. Technically, it could. Gil. Gil. I don't know who to throw. Oh, nice. Good D. Get in there. Get in there. Nice. Gilchrist. I couldn't tell if I want to call him Gilchrist or Gilchrist. Because a hit stick, a hard hit stick would have been uh, Gilchrist. Whereas a non-hit stick would have been Gilchrist. So... That was a Gil Christ, because it wasn't super hard, but it was a hit stick that stopped him. We're going to take it. Whoo, Bush, you clever man. We're not doing this well, you know, maybe. Get out of here. But I suppose for the purpose of a video, you could. Read option. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a handoff all the way. Oh, Dylan's so strong. For a second, I was like, wait, did Dylan just go backwards? Oh, Jamal. Wow, that is so sucky. Absolute pass. Is that pass interference? It's kind of like it's... Our guy's trying to run around. He's bumping him, but but in Madden, obviously, you can make anything happen. Jamal! Vintage Jamal! For seven yards. <laughs> the outside. I don't trust that. We got to really start looking at our reads. That is very lucky, Mr. Calvin. <laughs> you absolutely blew that play and you saved it. I want to see that again. That is, that's something. That is definitely something. Actually, I can't really tell who blew that because is it, is it my fault? Nah, that's his big fat head. What a catch though. Yeah, let's just run it up the middle. We could get Chad, it kind of depends. Yo, that is such a scam. I try to just hand it off, and the game thought I wanted to throw to A. Why does that happen? I think I just got scammed again. Way to go. That's tough. That's a loss of yards. There is no one open on that play. Parham. That is just not even close. If he gets him right away. There you go, Chad. It's a bad punt, simply put. Man, there is no openings. I mean, they obviously have a sick team. Like, they have a Humphrey and Car uh, Carlton Davis. It's really tough, but, man, there's nowhere to go. We really need a, a turnover on defense that scores. We really do. It's tough, man. Instead of the wide receiver outside. I just thought the, the wide receiver would have gotten more separation on the wheel. Can we go to the running back? No, he's going to go to the wide open player downfield. We miss hard on a hit stick. Great. They're going five wide, up 12 in the rain with a minute 13. Come on, dude. Really? That's the game we're playing today? I Like, we just don't have the speed, man. They're just too fast. They stop faster than we run. I don't, I don't even know how that, like, physically works. But, like, if you told me we had five yards and one second to get there, we wouldn't get there. We just wouldn't. And mathematically, 40 times say that we should, but we just wouldn't. We're just too slow. It's not going to happen. Like, we can't run. This is why I'm hot. This is why. 
<laughs> Man, this is brutal. Now I'm going to pause for a second. For a, se for a second here. For a second here. Literally can't move. Like uh, Stuck in the mud. Oh, Robinson. I literally couldn't even run to him. Oh, my God. That's a catch down to the two. And by the way, how is that the two-yard line? What are they going to review? That he uh, was not at the two and it was at the four? Because that's what the, sh the, the argument should be. Or are they going to say it's a left foot? Oh, that's not a catch. That's not a catch. The right foot was never down. What? Oh, wow, they lost a lot of clock. Was the clock running the whole time? Was that right foot never down? I swear it wasn't. By the way, look where I am. That doesn't get picked because of how slow the game is. Yo, how is that a first down? Hey, this might be the most realistic thing we've had. And then they don't they don't waste their time. Alright, so halftime score, uh really trash. Just like next gen Madden. I could have probably left the next gen part out. All right, Callaway on the return to the 25-yard line. There's one thing that's guaranteed in this world. It's not even death. You may you may survive forever. I don't know. But it's that Callaway will not get past the 30-yard line. That That is the one guarantee in life that I can give you. 100%. And Dylan! Oh, look, that's a face mask. Yo, these Cardinals need to relax. They are scamming beyond belief. They are just absolute scam artistries. Jamal up the middle, slipping for a gain of five. To the outside. Let's run it in. Yeah, lower the shoulder with an old Jamal. Look at him, he's literally dead. Speaking of judge, speaking of uh, Gil Christ, I like that Christ. Jamal Charles could be our look. Jamal, thank you. Nice little slip off. We burned 24. I don't know who that is. Uh, Humphrey, maybe? Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> Damn it. We run. Oh! Playoffs! Are you there? Oh, the playoffs are there. But we aren't! Jesus Christ, we won't get there with these plays. Come on, boys. I knew it was worth it. Oh, Dylan! There's no one. I don't trust anyone on this team but Dylan. It's Dylan or no one. I don't trust the tackles. I don't trust Manziel. Dylan's the only guy. He's like literally the only guy I trust. Like how am I supposed to make a read with this team? It takes him more than two seconds to get open. It takes him 12 hours to get open. Literally marinating chicken. Oh, he's wide open. I mean, I can't be blamed for missing a read. Nah, I can't be. I can't be missed for that. But... I just don't trust anyone to be open. So I'm looking all across the field, not knowing wh who to expect to be open. Like this one, I believe in Parham, but like, is, is he actually, or what's the story? He is. How? Oh, it is Paris. Paris is very fast. Damn it. The slant was so open. All right, Donald. It's only a super long field goal in very bad weather. I mean, if that doesn't go in, like, I'm just sad. Okay, okay I mean... Progress, right? Like Hill, somebody. Oh, Bell drops it. Okay. Okay. What, what is Johnny doing? What, what is he up to? What could he possibly have to say? Like, how is that weather? Like, no, it's bad. We we know it's bad, but it's still not an excuse for you to suck. Oh no, Cam. What is that? He double jukes in front of Cam Chancellor, and Cam's like, Nah, no hit stick. Me and Lev go way back. They don't run the ball, and we still can't. Like, whoever that is over the middle better cover him. Good job, Cam! Oh, that's good stuff. We need some pressure, man. This is, like, if we can get a sack here, that'll be masterful. Over the middle. Over the side. Five-yard gain. Damn it, dude. That should have been a freaking uh, false start. Somebody play some coverage. He's wide open outside. This is the this is the pass rush is doing. This is this is their fault. Our field goal means nothing. It means nothing. Do you know that? It means absolutely nothing. And that's why I'm so sad. Okay? All right, come on. Let's get in there, baby. Oh! Don't. How many guys does it take to please your mother? Like a lot, I'd imagine. Gaper on her, but Come on, man. To the outside. We brought a blitz. Revis, no! Well, 
Here goes our... Uh, oh, and he's celebrating on him. Here goes our playoffs. There is no chance in how we win this game. There's nothing. Is gone. It's actually gone. And I can't... <laughs> Seawolf cannot be the kind. He... He's been, look at his name. That guy's name's racist. I can't even say it without getting canceled. It's just a lose lose. See, well, you can't lose to that guy. You just can't. They're not even bringing much of a rush. Oh, man. There's just no. We've lost. It's over. And that's going to be a pick. Oh, Jesus. I mean, we can't go for this, but at the same time, like. And I can't bench Manziel because it's not his fault. It's just nobody's open. And then on defense, there's no pass rush. I mean, look at this. Like, we, it, that was a consolation tackle. I don't understand how Le'Veon Bell hasn't gotten more yards. This sucks. Oh, I, I, nice. Please. But I don't know how. I don't know what it's going to take. But please, somehow get off the field here. I don't believe in our chances, right? I don't think they exist. But I want to believe... Kirk! And if it wasn't for him, it would have been another touchdown on Revis. Revis like, oh, look at me. I can catch it. Oh, I wish it was in bounds. I would have picked it off. Yeah, sure, dude. Parham. Okay. I mean, at this point, you just make it look good because the game's not over. You you keep that make it look good mindset. Run. Oh, throw. Yes! You get in there. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm jinxing here, but late third into the fourth, the opposing team collapses. If we win this, I literally, uh, it's proof. Any other game? Okay, maybe there was openings throughout the game. This one, not a chance. Not a single chance. I'm playing the game. I will tell you for a fact, if we win this game, the coding is is glitched. It's, it's broken. It doesn't work. Something. That's all I can tell you. Because we have had zero ways to go. That is absolutely it. That's all I can tell you. We had nowhere to go. No, looking bad to Calvin, but somebody's going to drop back there, right? No, they aren't. I'm t Bruh. If we win this game, dude. If we win this game, it's it's 100% scriptoid. You got to go for the, uh, the extra point. But boy, are we going to look bad if we miss it. Uh, please don't. No! Bruh, it is so tough to kick extra points. You miss an extra point, and then, like, you can't edit it out because it's live. You, like, you can't say, like, oh, the my controller slipped. Like, there's just no winning, man. We missed the extra point that would have been made us down by eight. Like, you know, like, what can you even do? Come on, Martin, get in there. Please just, just, just smoke us, honestly. Who cares? Honestly, just do it. But you know what? Maybe that extra point miss helps us because they'll probably play a lot more conservatively now knowing that, you know, we can't win on the next drive. And that's how we get him. Huge hit by Gilchrist. When he hits hard, he's Jill, Jill Christ. He's Gilchrist. I guess Jill, it could be his name. If he goes by Gilchrist, Jill could also be the, the beginning part. It really could be. That's how odd it would be. Let me run. Let me run. Somebody get there for the love of G's. And we've done it. Block him. There you go, Callaway. Gain of like seven, maybe? Bulldog for life. We can still win this. It's script as hell if we do, but still, we can win it. Oh, run! Jamal to the 34. I'm telling you, dude. There's something in the game that makes you want to win. Like the game wants. I, I, I mean, I obviously want to win, but I'm going to be honest. I really didn't believe in it after that first half. Jesus, Manzel. Could you please? Biggest drive of the game. Can he win the game? Probably not. Let's be honest. And that's just not even close. Really good coverage anyways. 51. We hit a field goal that was long before, but like if you miss this by an inch, you're, you're gone. That's tough, but I mean, it looks good. Yo, the wind is ridiculous in this. We lost 100%. That is crazy. To be fair, it could be a mix of accuracy as well. But, yo, when it rains, it is, like, impossible. Did you see the accuracy? It was, like, right there. I mean, this is all matter. What am I supposed to do? I can't get any closer than that. Bell gets the uh, the thingy. To the outside. 
It is going to be a throw. I think we got a hit stick there, but... All right, boys. The blitzes. We've been living and dying by the blitzes this quarter. Time to die. Oh, Revis! Oh, oh! It's okay. It's okay. You know, that pick would have been probably getting us to the 30. That's fine. It's great defense. That is really good. That's probably... Uh, that's probably Revis' best, like, pick thingy. You're telling me this wind isn't crazy? I mean, don't get me wrong. We have seen AIs miss punts and whatnot really badly, but this is beyond bad. This is, like, nonsensical bad. Bush. That's a hit late. Is that a hit late? I feel like it wasn't, but, hey, you want to call it. No, it's a hold. Yeah, nice. Farm on the inside. Slant. There you go, Bush. It's really, if it's not a slant, it's not open. It's just simply put. It's just simply put. That's just severely underthrown. That's a bad decision anyways. Should have taken uh, Bush underneath. Oh, come on. Move out of the way, Gilchrist. I know you're, well, Gilchrist, he didn't hit hard. I get you're okay. You've been hitting well, but like, trust me. Trust me. Cam Chancellor lays a bigger boom there, if he even hit, gets him. All right, Parsons, let's see you not pass rush successfully. Sweet. Get in there. Oh, Martin, knock it out. Like, this is just greed if they don't run the ball here. It's greed. Come on, somebody get there. There's five of you. Bruh, there's five of you. How many chances are we going to get on offense? King is back. He's back. No one cares. Oh, crap. We're running. Is it got to be this far out, though? Whatever, man. There we go. Getting a nine. Hurry up. Hurry up. We going for it, baby. King. Oh, how in the world does he cover that? What a throw. King is like, I've got this, boys. We need nine points in five minutes. I've got it. Kick three field goals. I need ten attempts to hit three. Jamal is going to get a sliver. Let's hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hit this. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He catches this. What the hell? Oh, Lord. Give me a break, man. Are you for real? And we get blocked perfectionately. And look at... Vince Wilfork's got 120 pounds on him. And at this rate, the way Bell's playing, he's younger than Bell. Like, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. The, the Cardinals roster is nightmare fuel. Actual, pure, concentrated nightmare fuel. This roster is nuts, dude. Oh, where's the fumble? I mean, they probably recovered it anyways. But, like, their corners are actual lockdown artists. It's it's ridiculous. Like, there's just nothing open. I'm just going to run double drags next play. We're going to run the cheesiest thing I can find, and I want to see if anyone gets open. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't think it, I, I just don't think it happens. I really don't. We're going to find crossers. We're going to slant the tight end, slant the Y route, and, and in-cut the X route. And if nobody gets open, it's rigged, and I want a refund. Third and 11 from the 23-yard line. I mean, the game's still not over. It's very unlikely to win. Screen! Come on! No, hell no. He gets out of bounds. If he kicks this field goal quickly, and we can keep the ball in on the kickoff, we may be in a spot to get a free play, which will be picked off. That's good. Like, there's nobody here. This is a 10-yard game minimum. And look who's not gaining 10 yards. Us. That works. That is the cheesiest thing I could probably think of with this roster. And it worked, damn it. <laughs> damn it, Bush. Hurry up to the line. How is he read Parham there? Get out! That is just not a good decision. Throw it away. I, I just... We're just not going to hit that throw. Parham's kind of getting open. Bush is kind of getting open. But neither of those plays are passable there. They have us. And it sucks. Man, this felt game this game went out for months. Somebody get me a freaking calculator on how much time and years I lost on my life. Calvin? Why? Is Calvin a god? Foots out of bounds. He's a god. 
Yo! How? And why was King running still? I stopped. Look at this. Catches the thing on Humphrey, who got greedy. Is it called? No, it might not have been. It was Humphrey, who got greedy. And then he's like, yoink. Look at that foot. And to be fair, his knee looks well down. But look at swing. Parm could be our guy. I don't trust it. I trust that man, though, Calvin Johnson. And we're back in it. Only a minute 13. 10 touchdowns on the season for the old man as well. Uh, is there a reason for us to go for two? Is there a reason not to go for two, though? Five points. Yeah, there's there's a reason to go for this, even though we'll probably miss it anyways. That, I mean, if that misses, I will cry. Like, look at the accuracy, and it still goes to the right. Yo! Could we not? So defense is not super trustworthy. The wind is kind of bad. You got to think that an onside kick is still the best choice here, whether we get it or not. Hit him. Kill him. Aw, oh, damn it. Either way, 44-yard line. A minute for uh, 11 left. Down five. And you already damn know we're bringing the house. This is, this is a try. We've played really poorly, but the defense stepped up when it meant the most. And my voice is dead. Can I run come in here? I can't. I just... No, I'm run coming in. Doing it again. They want to lose yards. I love it. Oh, we save a timeout. Oh, Crowder's dead. Uh-oh. You moron! Yeah, what is he doing? Why? I mean, you pretty much can call it over unless they have another injury, right? Because we'll be down to like nine seconds at best. Yo! Who just fell for that? Once again, like I said, their defense is playing like they're still, like, I mean, I, wow. Now I remember why King isn't the starting quarterback, because that was not even close. Once again, their defense has played absolutely lights out, but holy crap, that wasn't even close. Like, that was about as far as you away as you could get. 31 and 19, man. That that Cardinals offense is it's okay. It's really good at managing the game. It's really good at converting when they have to. But that defense, it is locked down. We did kind of go away from the run game because we thought we ran out of time, but realistically we we did have time we should have it would have costed us like we wouldn't have had as many drive attempts as we did there but it, you know it would have been a more likely successful drive damn that was that was crazy that is i would have loved to have a heartbeat monitor on because like i feel like i could go into cardiac arrest at some point soon like i really could i mean it's gonna be a fun one all right looking at the stat line of the game we don't talk about russell wilson because i hate him johnny manzel i mean I can't really blame any quarterback play. There's just the receivers. They just did not go on. Like, they just did not go on. They really didn't. They just, uh, they just were terrible. They really were. As far as uh, yards go, Dylan was great, but we were down at the worst possible time. We had to stop running. We had to try to pass, and the pass game just did not work. Calvin got to 10 touchdowns on the season, which was pretty cool. As far as receiving Sims, of course, the name gets us defensively sack totals they had all of them i'm not reading that guy's name <laughs> they had all of them and we had nothing we had zero pass rush that game malcolm jenkins with three picks marlon with two as far as kicking we did miss an extra point and a field goal but it was tough the the wins were quite crazy and you could tell by the fact that their average yardage per punt was 33.5 that's like very terrible <laughs> very bad uh, but we have an upgrade for donald Parr. i'm gonna be honest Donald Parham looks like he just got through treatment for a certain stage of things. Just saying. Just saying. Vertical threat, 78 overall now for Donald Parham. Agility, break tackle two, catch medium route. Th that's what you want, the route running, because it is actually tough for tight ends to get the route running going. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. I like it. Uh, Jordan Mailata, pass protector, I suppose. I mean, it's kind of... I mean, our pass blocking wasn't actually that bad last game. We just had no one to throw to, so really all that can be said and that is going to be the end of the video of course a desperate desperate loss will we make the playoffs who freaking knows regardless whether we do or not uh stats in awards will be next episode so we'll find out next episode if we make the playoffs and of course any awards we may have won regardless whether this is the final game of this season or not 
we will definitely obviously have another season. So glad that you guys hopefully at least enjoyed this season and hopefully you come back and join us for next or you join us for some playoff football. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, second channel up here plays. And of course, we've been streaming this live on twitch.tv slash Jerome PKR. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you come back for the next video. But until the next video, 